Yo, what is going on you guys? B Jack here and in today's video I will be talking about Frank Vogel, Lakers hiring a Frank Vogel. I mean, if you are new, make sure to check out my other videos because I post NBA videos very consistently on this basketball channel. This is my opinion on the signing, guys. This is just my opinion, so don't go hating if you think my opinion's wrong cuz I'm not saying I'm right. I might be wrong. Um, but let's just get straight into the video. Lakers sign Frank Vogel as their head coach and Jason Kidd as their assistant coach. Um, what do I think about this? I think this is a good move. Um, I think Jason Kidd's a very solid coach. He coached well in Milwaukee. He kind of got them back into the playoffs. Maybe not contending in the playoffs, but they got back into the playoffs with him being coach. I'm pretty sure they were sixth seed that year. The Bulls were third seed. And yes, they lost the series in five or six games a couple years ago. But Jason Kidd did a great job. Frank Vogel. Pacers years. I mean, just look at those. Three straight years in semifinals, conference finals. Two in the conference finals, one in the semifinals. So back in the 2012 playoffs, they were in the semifinals and got knocked out by the Heat. Back in the conference finals in 2013, it was seven games in the conference finals. So one game away from beating the Heat, the superstar team Heat, and going to the NBA finals with the coach, Frank Vogel. Now, you look at their players from that year and from 2014 where they took the Heat to six games in the conference finals, it's not that good. I mean, you got off the bench, you don't have any depth. They had DJ Augustine, Ian Mahimi, and players, just players like that, you know. Not very much depth. They had, they didn't really have a bunch of superstars either. They had David West, pretty good player at the time. Um, Paul George um, didn't even emerge to the superstar he is today. But he was, he's still an all-star then, but he was not like a superstar then. He wasn't on the next level, let me just say that. He wasn't developed all the way. And you have Roy Hibbert, good defensive player, but not even an all-star. Lance Stevenson, not even an all-star. I mean, that's just my opinion, guys. I think it's a good signing by the Lakers. But if you guys disagree with me, agree with me, just leave your opinions down below in the comments section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe because we're on the road to 300 subscribers. And we make NBA videos very consistently on this basketball channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.